Welcome everyone on the field. It's Greg Amsinger with my good friends Harold Reynolds, Al Leiter, Steven Strasburg. Game two starter for the Washington Nationals. 12-3 the final. Dominant performance from your club. What statement did your team make? We're going to talk about you individually, but what statement did you guys come in here and make the last two days? Um, really just trying to go out there and, you know, play for the guy next to you. Um, you know, it was, it was a hard fought battle there and, um, you know, they made me work every single inning and, um, you know, I was just going to keep firing it in there and, uh, you know, then Zook with the big hit there in the, in the seventh, I think. So, um, yeah, that kind of, kind of went crazy after that. How, how fun was it? It's so loud in here. The atmosphere has got to be great. Anybody who ever played baseball in their life dreams for this. How fun was it? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, everybody plays the game for different reasons and stuff. But, you know, for me, I think uh, it's just because I'm a real competitor. And um, to be in an environment like this, it kind of gets the juices flowing. And, uh, you know, you just really roll with it. Um, you know, you give everything you have and, you know, you let, let everything happen. Do you think it was pretty cool that you're in the same complex with the Astros and West Palm? <laughs> you guys see each other every day. You face each other how many times? I don't know how many outings you had. And yeah, here you quite, are in the quite World a, Series. Yeah, quite a few. Yeah, I think uh, West Palm Beach is uh, pretty happy with that investment. So, <laughs> Right. But to be further into that, just watching you, and I, I marvel at how you pitch. I mean, you have great superior stuff, but watching you as the game went along, there were a couple of bats there. You mentioned mm -hmm. there, there were grind out at bats. Yeah. But the Correa bat and then Kyle Tucker pinch hit. I mean, can you take us through those? Because they were, that was awesome. Knowing that you were matching zeros and zeros after the first inning with Verlander. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, you know the situation. Uh, you know, it's the World Series, obviously, but. Um, here, we, we got it going right here. What do you think here? Here's a Carlos Correa, two outs. Well, I think he's a guy that likes the ball out over the plate, and um, you know, it's a lot of these guys. You know, you really have to let them know that you're going to pitch inside and you're going to go in hard. Um, you know, that's kind of across the league. You know, you Did you think you that had that one? Uh, that fastball away. Out of the hand, it felt good, but you know, looking on the replay, there it was out. So, so you know, was that a money pitch, three-two for sure? I'm going after fastball away. That, was that first thing on your mind? Yeah, yeah, I think it was, um, especially when you get him engaged and kind of stand him up a little bit. Um, you know, you want to you want to get your outs away, especially with the damage that they can do um, with pitches middle in. But, um, you know, at the same time, it's, you know, you kind of throw enough in there and you set the trap. So, again, but, but I'd love for you to talk through the Kyle Tucker bat. Mm -hmm. And here you know, it's 2-2. You mentioned Suzuki, top of the top of the seventh. He goes big fly mm -hmm. and puts you up. If it's you can take a us here, you got two outs. Mm -hmm. Tucker now pinch hitting. And, again, this was a battle. Take us through this right here. You got first pitch curveball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't really execute that one very well. That one was not good either, but whatever. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> that here, was better. Yeah, but this is what's great: two yeah. old curveball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think as as you get around the game and been here long enough, you. What realize, were you there? You trying to go in there? Yeah, yeah, trying to go in and. Um, well, you had an open base, and what was that conversation at the mound about? Um, really, really don't worry about whether there's an open base or not. Um, this is the know, guy you I, wanted. Yeah, I mean, I think I think my stuff plays against every, anybody, and you know, if I execute the pitch, um, if they hit a good pitch, and you know, hey, tip your cap, but um, you know, I'm I'm not going to give in to anybody. So, yeah. so let me ask you real quick: What did you learn watching Max last night? Mm -hmm. That game plan for you tonight? Yeah, well, I think um, you know the Astros—they're obviously um, one of the best offenses in the league, and um, you know, it's definitely a challenge. I knew that going into, into the game, but. Um, you know, I think it comes down to um, not giving in and just making pitches and taking it one step at a time. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I think the biggest that's that's the biggest thing against anybody, really um, trying to slow the game down and, uh, you know, having your mind in the in the right time zone. As it stands right now, we're looking at one of the greatest World Series pitchers ever. I mean, that's where your ERA is, Stephen. You've been building yourself quite the fall class. You probably got a hug season, from, from that one, season, right? Postseason uh, ERA. Yeah, yeah, they're the hugging type, so they'll, they'll give me a hug just for the heck of it. Yeah. Hey, man, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. Really well done. Up 2-0 here in Houston. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate yeah. it.